Hi guys, it's Elmer, your fire protection guy. Welcome back to this channel. We're going to replace this uh, Honeywell pile indicating panel. So watch this channel. Okay, I have sorted out and removed all the connections of these cables. So the sounder cables is gone, the power cables are gone, and the loop connections are gone. And then we're going to start removing the pile indicating panel and replace with a new one. That's the way, right? Hi guys, I am back in my garage for privacy reason because that's a childcare center. So I was able to replace the fire panel smoothly. In less than four hours, everything was completed. I, uh, during the uh, commissioning of the system, I found that there were three notifier non-compatible detector. I don't know how it was not picked up by this old fire indicating panel. I don't know why, but that detector are not compatible to an Quartronics 220 so only three detectors was replaced the entire lot the other existing Honeywell fire uh, smoke detectors are compatible okay now uh, everything goes well as I, as I mentioned and I'm going to provide you with some insights on how to program this LST Honeywell fire indicating panel so welcome to Honeywell LST addressable fire indicating panel. So this is the main board. That is your loop card, the LIF64. Okay, this is where you plug in your adapter for programming. Okay, so let's start with that. So this is the adapter for programming. So what I have done was I extended put some 16 pins there and extended on a flat all right and then using that I have already have this 16 pin and then I plug it that straight here all right all right that is I improvise that without this let's say you only use an adapter existing adapter that I bought from them before okay this is how it looks like so imagine you don't have those so that is an open where you can plug it straight like that so it looks like this okay now so with my 16 pin plug in all right I can program that the adapter and then my nine pin Male and P male, this is P male, goes to my serial adapter, goes to my laptop. Take note, your laptop should be running in Windows XP using Parsop. That's Parsop. So let's take that Parsop. So, I fortunately, sorry, my this fire panel is not operating right now. So, for training purposes, let's open a particular parts of configuration so for example this one so this is what you see inside for example of any LST this is only example so let's go to the zone so we're doing programming so you can see zone 1 zone 2 zone 3 so the zones are changing type of zone manual call point automatic call point and the zone list so this is how you program and then let's say zone 8 what are the elements in zone 8 those are the elements. They have all their distinguished or 
addresses. So the address is 42 on this one, 42, and then address is 41. So there's only one particular detector, the detector a manual call point in address and address 42. So let's go back to zone. I remember this particular building. Most of them are manual call point, not detectors. Let's go to zone seven, automatic zones. What are the elements in that automatic zones? We have an optical detector, address 41 in the foyer. And then we go on, address 43 in the foyer. And then another detector, address 20. Okay. And the location, unknown. Look, I don't know. We we'll program this stuff. <laughs> okay. So that's an example of programming using the PARSOP for an LSD panel. Okay. So let's try to open other. Uh, parts of that I have okay parts of so I have for example good you gardens good you gardens this is 2012 let's see what's in 2012 so zone automatic zone ground sprinkler and then zone 2 first floor sprinkler second floor sprinkler and then I got only a few zones available on that particular file indicating panel Okay, so I got lots of program, program programming that I have done using Parsop. So what else? I have Nux Grammar, I have Dooley's, I have uh, Reservoir Road, I have 15 Albert, I have Woolaware Shore Cafe sub-indicating panel. What else? Mostly Nux Grammar. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then look at that. Sub-indicating panel, Lawson Building. All right. Okay, so that's it. So that is how to access an LSD. You need a parcel. Okay, you, I hope you learned something today. So LSD indicating panel, to wrap it up, if you need uh, to change an LSD file indicating panel, you need a Petronix 100A or Petronix 220 file indicating panel. Okay, thank you. This is Elmer, your fire protection guy. See you next time.